Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the HUMAP Content Management System. In this series, I will be showing you how to create and curate content on your HUMAP instance. This tutorial is for creating records in the Content Management System. To get to the CMS, you'll first need to log into your HUMAP admin account. You can do that by navigating to your instance home screen and adding slash admin into the address bar and clicking enter. On the login screen, type your email address into this box and your password into this box. If you would like the browser to remember your details, click remember me and then click login. Most of the content on your instance will be in the form of records. To get to the records dashboard, Click Records in the menu on the left. Click New Record or Create a Record. You can save and exit this process at any time and your record will not be added to the map until you press Publish. You can also edit or unpublish the record at any time after publishing. Name your record in the title text box. The slug URL will auto-generate based on your title. If you aren't happy with the slug, click Edit Slug and then type in the slug text box. You can come back and do this at a later date, but bear in mind that after publishing, this will change the location of the record on the web. If your record has a start and or end date, you can add that in here in the Date From and Date To section. You can also click the calendar icon at the end of the text box and select a date from there. You can also decide how precisely the date is displayed by ticking the box next to your preferred format. The content text box will be the body of your record. Use the formatting options in the toolbar to make your text pop and remember to use frequent paragraph breaks if your record is long. The excerpt section will show up on the preview of your record, so try and sum up your record in a way that's interesting and clickable. When you're finished on this screen, scroll back up and click Attachments in the top record toolbar. This is where you add media to your record. HUMAP supports text, links, videos, images, and rich IIIF media. To upload an image, click Add New Image, select the image and click Upload. Do the same for the other types of media if necessary. When you're finished, click Attachment Sort Order. This is where you organise your record's attachments. The piece of media at the top will be used for the preview image, so choose wisely. The rest will be in your records gallery. Next, click Location in the toolbar. Every record needs a location. You can use either the text box in the map to search via a postcode or a place name, or you can use the latitude and longitude. When you've found the location, click the map to drop a red pin. A record can only have one location, but if you change your mind, you can come back and edit the location at any time. When you're happy with the location, click Categories. This page lists the taxonomies defined on your HUMAP instance. Click the boxes that are relevant to this record. When you're done, click Sharing in the record toolbar. On this page, you can create a permalink and a QR code for your record. This feature is extremely optional, but is great for linking your map into real-world spaces. You can only create a permalink or a QR code after your record has been created. Clicking Create Permalink will create this. When you're done with the Sharing tab, click CTA block in the Record toolbar. A call to action gets reactions from your users. To create one, you need a title, a description, button text, and a URL for the button to send your user to. Your record is now finished. 
Click Create Record to make a draft and then Publish to make it visible on your map. This is how a finished record may look. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video or feature, please feel free to get in touch with us at team at humap.me.